Today, we're making a Jameson drink. Thank you, Derek. Hey, that was pretty subtle. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Calm Man Cocktails. I'm Derek. That's Ian. Nothing says Christmas like Jameson. <laughs> I added that part. That was ad lib. Was it really? Yeah. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I'm done now. I wouldn't know. <laughs> We're gonna make a cocktail for you guys today. What's it called, Ian? It's called the Emerald Cocktail. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be emerald in color, but I don't know. Uh, uh, I doubt it. Yeah, it's emerald because it's that's it's emerald. Got Irish whiskey. Okay, I'll, I'll buy. I'll buy that. It's like the 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 stone. Yeah. The blunt? No, it's Jameson. like a shamrock. Stone? It's like a shamrock. It's Jameson and sweet vermouth. You're not gonna get emerald out of that. <laughs> You're gonna get a rosy dark brown. Um, the recipe. We'll start with this two ounces of Irish whiskey, one ounce of sweet vermouth, one dash of orange bitters. Garnish with an orange peel. You can do that optionally if you don't want to do it because you're just going to use an orange peel just for a garnish, which we're going to do because that's what we do here. We spend money for stupid things. Uh, this you're using is we're using a. Uh, Carpa Antica. Yeah. What'd you say? Ant Antica. Antica Carpano or something? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I'm dyslexic a little bit. Carpano Antica. Yeah, go with that. Formula. Formula. The orange bitters selection is going to be, uh, what do we got here? Scrappies. Scrappies bitters. You can get those at AwesomeBricks.com. Use coupon code MERRY20 until the end of December. Save 20% on everything in your cart. Merry Christmas. And Scrappies is very good, but if you're not a fan of Scrappies, there's a ton of other bitters. There's a ton of other bitters. Um, Dillon's. You can, get, you can try to find Dillon's. I don't know if I have that anymore. They're not, I can't import them into the country until Dillon's oh, recipes yeah. are fixed. They, they screwed up and somehow broke the TTB's guidelines for... Importing or, or whatever. Fee. Uh, Fee Brothers, West Indian, orange we, would be good. What are we using for glass? We didn't plan that. I don't plan that far yet. Uh, two, three ounces, the same shit as last time, dude. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Um, this, I would show you on the camera, but that's fucking broken. And so, <laughs> we don't have that. Um, it doesn't even turn on anymore. So what you're gonna do, is you're gonna take your three ingredients and you're gonna stir them. If you've ever made a martini, You've already figured this part out. So you repeat the process. You this don't. is exactly a martini. Yeah. Only. You're switching it up. Instead of gin or vodka, uh, what, you're using orange whiskey. Is it a gin, mar gin martini would have the orange bitters, I think. Or Martinez, Martinez. I think, has an orange bitters. Sweet vermouth, so it's not a dry martini. And a martini. Oh, a, a martini could be sweet, dry, or um, anything in between. Oh, right there's a different name for the different variants. There's the perfect, there's the yeah. uh, the semi-perfect, I don't know. There's the Vespa. The off-dry, the dry, the yeah, then you get the Vesper. I, there's a, I go, uh, there's a probably a playlist of martinis right above. If there isn't, I have to create one this to make Ian's this work. Right here. This is right yes, I was looking at some of John's drinks and I was like, oh, Ian's going to be here this month. This is going to have to happen because it's all Ian-type drinks all up in here. You think that's going to work? That's, oh. It's actually going to work, and you're not even getting a lot of pith. When you cut your orange peel, you skilled, the, the well, that's goal, the sharpest part on the back. The goal is not to get any of that little white pith because it's bitter. You're going to get a little bit because it's it's orange. But he managed to get a very small, barely any. Oh, look at that spritz of of the, orange. Expressing the oils. Yep. Express the oils. Express the oils, and if you want an extra bonus, you can rub it around the edge. You want to take it even a further. You can rub a little bit on the corner so that the drinker gets like that. There's a whole bunch of different zest. ways to do this. If you rub it on the inside of the glass, they don't get it on their lips. Yeah. If you rub it on the outside, they get more aromatics, but it gets on their hands. And it, and it depends on what you're looking for. Right. Many ways to skin that cat. Or if you're doing it like we do it, you just do whatever the fuck you want to. Yeah. We don't listen to anybody's rules. We're not bartenders. I don't have to worry about that. But if you're looking to become a mm. bartender, that's good information to know. It's right up my alley right there. You, I'm very drink. surprised at how much orange is coming through. You like it? Yeah, that's not too bad. I'm going use for my apron. <laughs> there you go. Well, that's kind of what they're for. Um, <laughs> it has that bitterness. By the way, the executive producer is Isaiah Duran, new patron, I believe. Oh. Patreon.com slash CMC. If Thank you want to help us out. Uh, it Welcome would be to nice. the family. Welcome to the family because we just have like $58 worth of people back out. So you guys know who you are. So now we need more new fresh meat on the patrons. Uh, this has this has a lot. It has a little bit of bitterness, which mm -hmm. is probably the the antica. Yep. Uh, but the sweetness sweet. is also coming from the antica. 
little little fortified wine, but not very much. Like that like that winey boozy. It's got a little bit of that bitter uh, that remains on your tongue. You know what I don't get in here? And this is probably just me. I don't get a lot of Jameson. Jameson's not a extremely strong flavored Irish whiskey to start with. I, I mean, thought it would be. Like when you just drink Jameson by itself, I feel like that's hardcore. But not but, as much as like not Greek. But the it. more I hang around with people and the more I drink, it's not really as hardcore as it once no. was to me. Like Jameson to me is like your stupid college kid that can can handle their booze. Like just drinking it right out of the bottle, you bring it around with you. So, I'm a fan of Jameson because it's. It's you can get it anywhere. Right. I like Irish whiskey because it's not too confrontational to your palate. And which is weird because I always thought it was confrontational, but we've made. But it's got a very subtle. I mean, subtle as far as whiskeys go. It's got a very uh, backed off flavor profile compared yeah. to like an American whiskey. Or right. Scotch. You don't get a bat like the, a burst yeah. of either. You don't get a burst of peat no. from Scotch. You don't, you don't get, get a burst, a burst of, of oak. oak. Yeah. You don't get any of the vanilla from the bourbon. You don't. Nope. It's it is. It's some place. It's simple. It's delicate. I'd say it's more delicate than it's a good lot of whiskey. Intro whiskeys. whiskey. It's a good intro whiskey. Which I thought was, again, ten years ago, I'd been like, "What are you crazy? That stuff's for like hardcore." But but it's good. It's I mean, a there's a perception. lot of great drinks we've had with that in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you've got your Irish maids and all your other little drinks yeah. that you've made over the years that you know you bring over. In, you, this is the, what if you go to Ian's house. If there's a bottle of alcohol in Ian's house, it's probably James. I've got some cask mates. I've got. Some Regular Jameson. See, the... he not just one bottle of Jameson. At least I've got two. Some teeling also, but that's not Jameson. So that's <laughs> not Jameson. You're right. Yeah. Irish whiskey. I got a couple bottles of Irish, but I don't, I don't really drink too much of them. But, yeah. Yeah. That's why I said if there's anything, it's gonna be. Do we? I have, no. <laughs> I have a couple one unopened bottles from uh, Cuba and Mexico. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gifts that one open. <laughs> Question of the day: uh, What type of gift have you received that you are like, I don't want to open it? Because then I won't have it anymore, and it was like it's yeah. one of a kind to me, not necessarily in the world, right? But to me, that I don't want to drink it. That's the kind of thing I don't do. I don't I, like if it's something that I know like like I can't pick up at the corner store. Yeah, I don't want to open it unless it's a special occasion. Like Plumber brought what... me up some Neruda uh, Scotch. Some uh, they brought me up some eighteen year Macallan. Oh yeah. And so he, he's brought nice. me up some scotches when he comes to visit. Sometimes you have to have I'm a like, couple extra. Those are like, special occasions. Yeah. This is a special... Now, obviously, I have no that's problem with this, but I went to Knob Creek. You have a lot of special occasions. That's the only thing. <laughs> <laughs> right. And... Your, your special occasion threshold is, like, here. I, <laughs> but... <laughs> right around dick level. So I have another bottle. Oh, okay. So it was okay to drink this one, because gotcha. I had a duplicate. Yeah, this is open. Sometimes things happen. <laughs> okay. Like, you forget you had an open one. Um, well, this I got... I, I went to the... I have a show. So I went to Knob Creek people. I'm like, I really like your 120. Can I have a bottle? And they said, sure. That's really nice of them. Right. So, and I just talked about it. So they just got free airtime. Yeah. I thought that we've got that Not many people watching, but. Uh, <laughs> but we've used it a lot also. Yeah, we have. The, the Knob Creek. So. Especially in uh, mules and whiskey sours and things that you want to hurt yourself on. Mm. So you have your question of the day. You know Mary 20 for your 20% off with coupons. You know how to like videos, so click the like button. You know how to subscribe. You're already here, so if you haven't subscribed, What's then wrong, there's also a bell. I know some people call it the notification squad, and I see them pop up every now and then, like, yeah. oh, okay, squad. That's what you basically the people who click the bell so they get notified when we release a new video. So, boom, and it's out. Like, yeah. right now, they'd be watching the live stream because it's a new video, and it's out, and boom, notified. That's how that works. So you get all that information. I think I covered everything in the video. Hopefully you enjoy the process of making these type of drinks. If you're not huge into hardcore, like spirit only drinks like Ian, there's plenty of other stuff on the channel for you. There's everything on the channel for you. Speaking of it, on the sidebar, you're gonna find probably my Christmas holiday list of all the videos we've done over the years, all the way back to like 2008, that all have to deal with Christmas. So many. Yeah. So many. So many. That's it. You've gone through the fads. You've made some classic style cocktails. You've made the fruity style cocktails. I've achievement the... unlocked. Yes. Beep, beep. A couple of them. Five achievements. Ten. What tea should I drink?